Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on the first game of the World Juniors as they resume here in August. As this game looked a lot closer on paper than it really was throughout the game, uh, it wasn't necessarily as close of a game as it really portrayed to be. Um, where Slovakia got off to a very solid start in the first period without some of their draftees as Czechnia had a decent bit of their draftees. I think it was 11-3, to and then obviously um, Slavkowski isn't playing in this. But Petrovsky started them with the scoring, and Koslik started them with the scoring to put them up 2 nothing. So you thought maybe there was going to be the upset in this, and Slovakia was going to get their start going really well in this tournament, but it wasn't to be as Chechnya really came out and got a great second period as Rasavi was able to score on a nice assist from Juracek across crease, and then Goot was able to score crashing the net as that was able to kind of find his way in as that was one that was tough to see who the heck scored, but it ended up being Michael Goot. And then Sapa Vailiv, who I believe was drafted by the Golden Knights, was able to score crashing the net at the end of that second period there, which then at that point, of course, put Chechnya up 3-2, to two, who was in the driver's seats and shots, um, almost doubled up Slovakia in shots, even at the end of this game while they still came back at the end on the power play, they still won immensely in the shot total. So I think that's really what did them in. But what really almost did in Chechnya was penalties. They just all of a sudden in the closeout, they're going to have to have against the better teams that are more experienced going forward in this tournament. Because Slovakia is a very solid team that's continuing to get better and better. They're just not as experienced in these things and don't have one of their best players. Well, their best player really um, playing in this. So... I think the hats and credit has to go off to Slovakia for battle and back and making the comeback, but you also have to push the blame and also the off part of the game to Chechnya for allowing them to make that comeback. That was a really bad closeout. Uh, Petrovicki was able to score um, on the power play, and then Koslik was able to score on the power play, which tied it at four. They really shouldn't have ever allowed that to happen, but their closeout of allowing too many bad penalties allowed Slovakia to find their way back in a game that they really shouldn't have. Because Lakotsi was solid in this game, Slovakia's goaltender, but he wasn't his best. I know he would definitely probably like to have better rebound control than he was actually able to have. So I would say... <clears throat> That's the big thing for him. He was kind of off with the rebound control. And then Jan uh, Bednar, I thought, was pretty solid as well. And he didn't really get helped out by his team late. His numbers are a little bit skewed because of the power play and the fact that they put them on two big power plays. Two two-man advantages late. One was just short-lived, so they got to um, not score in that two-man advantage. But then... As already said, they were able to tie it up, though, Slovakia, before, thankfully, for Chechnya and their fans, they were able to prevail in a game that they outplayed the Slovaks really well throughout the game because Gabriel um, Zerk, uh, or um, Sturz, I forget how you say that guy's name, but uh, S-Z-T-U-R-C, um, he was able to really come in, we'll just call him Gabriel, he was able to really come in and shoot one of those nice, in tight, high up shots over the goaltender, which is a deke that looks easier said than done, because when you're in tight, he really was able to flick his wrist and get that one up, uh, Gabriel was there, um, I guess it's Zer Turk, I don't know how you say his last name, uh, but... He was able to really come in tight and get that shot up and be able to win that game for Chechnya, who was really the team that all thing considered. They play probably 90% of this game. The best team, they just almost faltered because of their bad penalty. But in the end, you would have to say, I would say for Chechnya, I think a guy <clears throat> that really was good in this game that's going to continue to be a key player for them going forward because he's one of the better two-way players in the tournament is Jan Misik, who was able to score in this game, of course, and I think he's going to be a key. I would say he was a star of this game as he was able to be great in the face-off dot, be great on both ends of the puck, and that's going to make a key for them going forward. 
in turn, I would say Koslik was definitely a star for Slovakia as he was able to pot two of their goals as well as the game tying goal. So he really came to play for Slovakia and being able to get good play from him going forward, just like it's going to be able to be a key to continue to get good play um, from Koslik for um, Slovakia, excuse me, is going to be a key to be able to get continued good play from Misic for Czechnia. So those two, I think, are going to be key players for their teams going forward. And then if you had to say the goaltender battle, who I would give the third star to, I would have to definitely give that to Bednor because Bednor is the guy that realistically, if his team didn't put him in a bad penalty spot, really would have probably only allowed two goals in this game where Czechnia is going to have to get a better closeout. But overall, this was probably a... It would have been in the A grades of a game because of how much they dominated throughout after the first period, but now it's probably downgraded to a B because of the fact that they did let them battle back. And thank God for Gabriel, he was able to um, come in and shoot in close and lift that one over Lacoste to be able to win for them. And that's the reason they were able to win. So he would be, I think, the big defining star of the game because he was the one that got the winning goal. But this has been about a 6 minute and 50 second reaction to the first game against Czechnia and Slovakia, the game that started the reboot of the World Juniors this year. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe to help us grow to the next goal of 300 or more. Stay safe out there and enjoy the World Juniors.